Hello everybody, it's Amy from Your So Boho. Welcome back to my channel and a Tuesday night tabletop thrift haul. Actually, we've got two thrift hauls here. I was headed home from my second vaccination and I popped into the Northfield Goodwill and bought some things. And then I also stopped at the Cuyahoga Falls Goodwill and bought a couple of things. So let's start over here because this is gonna be kind of fun and I don't know how long he'll take. So let's start there with this Domo toaster. I found this in the back of the Goodwill. It's kind of cool. It apparently makes toast with Domo's little mouth and eyes on it, kind of like that. So I'm hoping that it works. I did when I was at the Goodwill plug it in and make sure that it heated up and I have kind of cleaned it since then. But you know, let's go ahead and test it. I have seen these sell brand new for somewhere in the 40 to $50 range. I've seen them sell used without the box for kind of very low, especially in an auction. But I think I'm gonna list it because it's new, hopefully in working order with the box. I'll probably list it closer to between 35 and $40. And I got it for six. So that'll be a nice um, flip. Let's check it out and see if it works. Oh, get down in there, get down, get down in there. All right, all right, let's see what happens. I also picked up this beautiful scale. Now when I'm looking these up, they are listed, most of them are listed as antique. I have not looked up the date on this, but it definitely does look like it might be, I don't know, in the 20s, I don't know. I have to do some more research. I'm not seeing a date on it anywhere. But my goodness, the condition is amazing. It almost looks like it was re-powder coated, even though I don't believe it was. I just think it was well taken care of. But as I'm comparing it to other scales online, it's like night and day how well this maintained its, um, you know, its condition. Most of them, they're all rusted out or the numbers are gone. I'll show you, they look pretty bad. <laughs> There is another one just like this with the green. They're trying to sell it for, oh, 46 or something. I, I'm not quite remembering, but I will share. I do think that I will list this high just because the condition is so wonderful. And also the other ones that are listed currently, the photos are terrible. So I'm hoping that this will really kind of stand out when I get it photographed and put onto eBay. But yeah, I think I'll be asking closer to, I don't know, maybe even a little bit over $50, just because the condition is so wonderful. And farmhouse is so big right now. I think that somebody's looking for an old scale like this that looks really great. All right, are we done it over here yet? Oh, we're all hot in there. I can definitely feel the heat. <laughs> Let's take a look at what I got at the Northfield Goodwill. I totally love that this is such a weird kind of cool, colorful, um, you know, haul this time. <laughs> it's very strange, but I like it. First, I picked up this blouse. Oh, time out. It happened. I see eyeballs. Oh, I see a mouth. <laughs> How cute is that? We have Domo toast. Yay. Okay, so we know it's in working order. That's wonderful. I may even keep the toast so I can include it in the photo when I put this up on eBay. <laughs> How cool. All right, so yeah, I think I definitely will ask, you know, closer to that $40 range for that, and that'll be great. All right, back over here to my blouse. It is a Lane Bryant. It's probably an older generation Lane Bryant. I know that this style was popular a ways back, but what I liked about it was that it, it has these kind of this right here in the center, this white, and these, they, they, I don't know, they have a slimming effect to them, let's just say. So, <laughs> I always look for pieces that I know are going to hang well, and this is a nice, cool, kind of colorful summer piece that I can just pair with, you know, a, a long black skirt or pretty much anything. But, um, yeah, I was kind of excited to see it because I just thought it was really pretty. And it might be a little aged, but that's okay. I'm a little aged too. And I like my thrifted clothes. So um, yeah, I was happy to find that. And then 
these guys, <laughs> they were in the stuffed bin. This guy is actually a hand puppet. And I know from watching um, the Cajun reseller that puppets sell really well. And sure enough, when I looked him up, he sells well. I will show you a comparison. I'm excited to get him listed. I think it's awesome. I have him on a, like a bottle here, Purell bottle, <laughs> and it really helps him stand up. <laughs> so I think I might even photograph him like that. But he has such great character. And yeah, puppets do really well. Keep keep an eye out for him. They sell their stuffed animals at this Goodwill for $1.49 each. And I'll show you on screen what I think I'm going to get for him. And that's awesome. This guy... I'm not going to get too much for, but again, he sold for $1.49. He is Rudy, like, you know, Rudolph, <laughs> Rudy from Bed Bath & Beyond. He still has his tags, including his price tag. He sold originally for $25. And he still has, he's a shelf sitter. He still has his plastic, which I think would be really cool to put a photo in. Because it would almost look like you were, you know, hugging whoever you loved. If you put a little photo in there. So I'm going to leave that in there and maybe even make that suggestion in the listing. But he's a beanbag shelf sitter with his long legs. He's pretty cute. And I think I'll list him for about $19.99. I may or may not include shipping. But he was a good find for $1.49. Let's go back here. This is kind of cool. If you haven't figured it out already, I'm kind of a kitchen um, things person. <laughs> like, if it makes something different, I have to have it kind of person. I actually cleaned out a closet and gave away a ton of things. Like a panini press and, <laughs> you know, all those things that you, you use like twice and then you don't use. This is probably one of those things too. And I haven't decided yet if I'm going to use it or if I'm just going to list it. I should be able to, if I list it, get about $20 to $25 on it. It is brand new. There is no box. So I can list it as, you know, open box or new with no box. It's the Hamilton Beach Breakfast Sandwich Maker. And it's really cool because what you do is you stack all your things, like your English muffin and your egg and your bacon and all of it. You stack it all in there. It cooks at the same time. And then, boom, you have, like, a whole breakfast sandwich. I'm going to see if there's a photo in here. Um, no, it looks like cleaning instructions. How to use. Here we go. You put your bottom half of the bread in there. You put your top half in there. It says make sure the cooking plate is in place. Crack an egg. Pierce the yolk. Da, da, da. It's really neat. And I like that I found it brand new. And it was, I believe, $4. $4. Oh, that was a pretty cool find. And I think, like I said, I'll probably just go ahead and list it. And list it for $24.99. There's quite a few others listed. I've considered maybe doing this on local because it might be a good local sale. Um, but I probably will only get about $20 on local. But then again, I don't have to pay fees and I don't have to ship it and all that. So <laughs> maybe local would be a good idea. We'll see. Then I found these bowls. And I'm bummed because I don't think that this was chipped. I think possibly I chipped it some somewhere along the line. Uh, there were four of these and they're absolutely gorgeous. They're like a stoneware with this blue glaze that I love. They're made by Primagera, which is a Portugal potter. I don't know how much age they have. They look pretty new. I'm just going to list these two. I'm going to hold these back. I might use these for something, I don't know, maybe in the garden. I paid $2 for all four of them. They were taped in a stack. I'm gonna say I can probably ask between 12 and 16 for just the two. 
That's my guess. I'm gonna have to do a little research. I haven't seen these stoneware pieces anywhere, so I may start a little higher than that and see what happens. But that's what, I'll, that's what I'm planning to do, is list these two and just keep these two. And I have one more surprise that I could not fit up on the table, and I actually just remembered it because it was out in the other room. It was holding something up. <laughs> but this was the best thing I found, so surprise! <laughs> <laughs> I have one more thing to show you, and that is this amazing typewriter desk. It is a metal desk with wooden casters. It's fantastic. It's in fantastic condition. I paid $10 for it and absolutely love it. I have another one of these downstairs that I use in my basement um, I haven't decided yet if this one's going to go down there as well. With the wooden casters, I would prefer it not to be in a basement. But man, it's so cool. It's so cool that I don't know if I can let it go. But I'm probably going to let it go. <laughs> For all of you who tease me about the things that I keep, I'm just going to say I'm going to let it go. I'm going to commit to it right now. I'm expecting somewhere between $75 and $100 for this piece. In this condition, it should get closer to that $100, um, but we'll see. I'm going to try it probably over at the shop since it's nice and small and we'll fit in our booth or we'll fit in the furniture room and, you know, see if I can get close to that $100 there or I could try it on eBay. I'm seeing other ones uh, listed that are selling on eBay. And there's my cat. <laughs> she has the peek in here. <laughs> Hi, Lena. What are you doing? I think it's dinner time, huh? You think it's dinner time? She always thinks it's dinner time. All right, well, I'm finishing up here and then I'll feed you. All right, so that's the whole haul. That's everything, including the thing I almost forgot, which was probably the biggest, coolest thing. Um, I love this piece. I'm selling it though, I promise I'm selling it. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little bit tonight. I appreciate it. If you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. I know there's a bunch of watchers out there who haven't yet. So what are you waiting for? Helps my channel, cost you nothing. And all you have to do is hit that little subscribe button down there. Click that and then click the little alarm so you know when I put up a new video. Usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays, sometimes a surprise one on the weekend. And leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think I picked that you would have picked and click that like button for me. And then do me a favor and share the video if you can so we can continue to grow this Yoso Boho tribe. All right, y'all, love to ya, and I will see you on Thursday.